Hello and welcome. Well, speaking as a British Australian Anglo West Indian <laughs> married to an Italian Australian, I guess you could say I'm all in favour of mixed marriages. But uh, if he's from one country and she's from another, what happens to the children if that marriage breaks down? Pushed to the edge and out of sheer desperation, some even consider taking custody battles into their own hands by abducting or kidnapping their own child from a foreign country. My first guest says her friend has abducted 10 children from foreign countries. So to find out more, please welcome Anne. has abducted 10 children. I don't know exactly how many, but um, she Does has reunited a number of children with her parents. And these are children from overseas? Yes. Does she tell yes. you when she's going to do this? No. No, she doesn't, because <laughs> it, it's terrifying. It's, it, it, well, it, it, it frightens me. So what well. happens suddenly? She sort of goes out of town for a while. Well, I don't see her every day, mm. anyway. So I may not speak to her for a couple of weeks, and then, <laughs> then she'll tell me a story, and I, uh, it's um, well, it's just she she's just a very brave, courageous person, and it's um, it's so very she, worrying. What she it, does is very worrying. Well, I worry about her. Why do you worry? Is it dangerous or? Because I think it is very dangerous. Mm. I suppose we all grow up. Being frightened of being caught doing something. Yeah. And I suppose it's that feeling that I... So she only really tells you when she comes back. Yes. And you're saying, you're thinking, oh my gosh, can you imagine how somebody that you know, a friend of yours, can be involved in all of this? Can I imagine? Mm. Do you know what well, makes her tick? I think probably because she's um, faced death and I do know that people who face death are not afraid anymore and they have um, so they have extra reserves that the rest of us don't can't pull on what so do you mean when you say face death well I know she she had a, um, an operation mm. from which she nearly died and, you and think so and, and my brothers are the same they they almost faced death once and they're the same, so I recognise those traits in her. But does it make she's you worry for a friend? Because she's also a mum herself, isn't she? Yes. Well, that's, I do, because I'm a mum. and I, I do worry. What do you worry her. might happen? <coughs> well, that she becomes parted from her children. And by she, being caught overseas? By being caught overseas, because if you're caught in another country mm. doing um, that kind of thing, you, you may not... Mm. receive the same treatment as, as um, you would here. So she's going over there, Dee's going over to, to foreign countries and bringing children back from those countries to reunite them with a parent here. So taking them from well, one parent over there. not necessarily here, but could be anywhere. And so anywhere. how do people get in contact with her? I don't know. So there's a lot that you don't know? Yes. Is there, there is a lot, lot you'd rather not know? Yes. <laughs> you might <laughs> there find is a out. lot I'd rather not know. <laughs> you might find out a few things today then. Yes. <laughs> Does that worry you? I might. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't, wouldn't surprise I wouldn't, you? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. She's an extraordinary person. And I... Well, let's meet this extraordinary person. Uh, please welcome Dee. <laughs> Hi. Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome, greetings to the show. Um, what, tell us what exactly it is you do. Um, I bring children back that have been taken abroad by one of the parents and I reunite them with their mother or their father. Or so you've been to, we're not going to go say which, exactly which countries, but some countries in the, in the Middle Eastern part of the world. Where, but uh, why? What got you into this in the first place? It was actually a friend of mine that had had her child taken from school by the father mm. and taken to an Arabic country and that's what started me off and I said well why don't we go and get him back? But that's a, I can't imagine sort of with a friend, oh I know, let's... I think, I think, I think with friends, I think when you've got a close relationship <coughs> with someone and you know that child and you know how he, he works or how she works and how she is, I mean how can you imagine taking a child away from a mother? 
if you're a mother and you, you, yeah. you expect your child to come home for school for his tea and he doesn't come, it's a horrible feeling, even for a father. But you're taking that child away from a father, aren't you, in none of those countries? No, I'm, I, what I do is I, I go and I, I bring the boy, the boy or the girl back to the mother. But surely the child might be with the father over there. Are you taking well, he shouldn't have taken the child from the mother unless there was a good reason. You can't just take a child. You're not worried that maybe a bond has formed between the father and no, the child? No, I don't think that a child shouldn't be with the mother or the father. I think a child needs both parents. Mm. I think it's quite important for a child to have both parents. I've got four children of my own. Right. And I feel that there is a bond between a mother and, and a child, but also between a father <coughs> as well. But I think what, what, the, what I do is that a lot of the cases that I've done is children that have been taken to the Far East or the Middle East, especially mm. to these Arabic countries where the life is very different than here. And it's not the same culture as here and the same upbringing as here. And it's a real culture shock for anyone to go to these countries if they're not used to it, especially a child. So, so give me, without again giving me names and countries, give me, what's the scariest situation you've been in? Because you've done this ten times. Um, Each I time successful? No. Sometimes you haven't been successful? No. But give me some examples. What's the scariest time? Um, I think the worst time was coming from one particular Arabic country mm. and... I had to drive for 16 hours with the child, but the child was not well and he couldn't get medical help in, in that particular country because there was, n there was a sanction there mm. and there was no medicine for him. We couldn't get medicine to him. Right. But I didn't take him from a parent. I brought him to a parent that was in this country anyway who had been left in that country. But how could you pass him off as being travelling with you? I mean... Oh, I, I just... I, I done that. Do you coach them, children? Yes, I had to. I had to teach this little boy for nearly 17 days that he was going to be with his parents in this country and I was his mum and I done it and I but reunited him with his family here. Did he have to speak it? Uh, I speak, speak Arabic so that wasn't a problem. So you spoke to him in Arabic, you didn't have to teach him any English? I taught him English as well. And what about clothes wise? Um, what I always do is I always um, take clothing with me for mm -hmm. the child. And we've got, with the, here's a picture of you and I think that's your daughter. So have you taken your daughter with you? On this particular trip, because it was actually my nephew that right. I brought back. So it was a familiar surrounding for myself and her. Mm. And I travelled with a friend as well. So my Was that to create the illusion of a family? Yes. And so that we saw him there in the, in the English clothes. And you, co and you got him back here, did you? Yeah, and he's ha he had medical treatment here. He's having medical treatment here now. And what happened with the two couple of times you said that it didn't work? Um... I didn't feel that the child should be taken away from the father when I went there. Why? Because I met the child and the child didn't want to be taken away from his father. He wanted to stay with his father. So when, you, when you're actually there, do you decide then by asking, do you have sort of certain questions that you ask the child which I, helps I, you form an opinion? I think you have to look at the situation when you get there. It's not just something you jump into and take a child away from a parent. Hmm. Not like the parent do from here. They, they, take, they take the child away from here and just go to the airport and take a child abroad. Right. That's awful. When I'm hmm. there, I'll, I'll look to where the child's living, how he's living. And m majority of the time, the child isn't even with the parent that's taken them. It's with the grandparents or family. So you're saying you decide then and there by looking at the child's circumstances, yes. who they're with. Aren't you acting as judge, jury and the whole lot? I'm, I'm, I'm not God. I'm not a judge. I'm just a mother. But <laughs> aren't you ever worried you might get it wrong? No. No? No, I'm not uh, oh, The other thing I have to ask you, when you weren't successful, you know when you said you went over there and you thought, no, the mm. child's happy with the father. How did you tell the, the parent? I told her the truth. And how, did the par how would a parent react to that? Well, I don't do it for money. I don't take any money in this whole thing. There's no mm. money exchanged at all, only my travel. So this, this person had obviously paid for your travel yes. and got nothing, would they? Well, no, I, I, I believe that if, if the child was not able to come back and it wasn't safe for the child to come back at that particular time, I'm not going to put the child at risk mm. by bringing him back. And she took that okay? Not really, no. She wasn't very happy, but that's my decision. So she knew that before I went and I tell them before I go. So you tell them if you're not happy that the child wants to leave, you won't bring the child back? <coughs> yes, I That's do. said up front. Okay, yes. Um, don't you ever get caught up in any of the legal aspects of the case? Because it's obviously a custody battle that's going to No, it's come not, up because children that Thank have been you. abducted from this country by the parent, they have their own passports and they have their, their British residence. They've got a right to stay in this country. 
So they've got their own documentation anyway. So there's no illegal passports involved. There's nothing illegal involved. All I'm doing is my mother's approaching me and asking me, please, can you bring my child back? But then you, you, you say when you, you have to pretend to be that child's mother in order to get that child back. Because the child won't know me. Right. I tell the child that I'm, no, it's only that one circumstance that I had to do that because the yeah. child didn't speak any English at all. Most of the children speak English because they've been living here for up to, up to nine years of their life, some five years, so they know English, they know their grandparents here, they're English children, they're English-born they, they children. They need to have a lot of trust to go with you, though. I, I... Because here, I'm just trying to think, here, here yes, you are in a village and here comes the children, straight forward. children... I think children are quite adaptable to situations. I mean, if the father can take him on an aeroplane or her on an aeroplane and tell him that he's going to go on the other side, he must miss his mother. Right. They must ask, where's my mummy? You know, so you say you've got enough information about the <coughs> mummy to convince the child that you actually know Yes, mommy. I've got lots, yeah. yeah. Well, obviously you've got the child in mind, but what gives you the decision whether to bring the child back or not? What gives um, you the right? What gives me the right? Yeah. I don't have any right. The mother approaches me, I don't approach her. Yeah, I do it because she's asking me. But when you said that it's not right for the child to come back because it's happened with the father, it's not your decision to make, is it? And that, it's only happened once. In that, particular, in that, that particular circumstance, I felt that the child was not safe to come back to his mother. Really? Yes. OK. Yes. I, I, I was just wondering, is how, how can you say that you can go there and take the child when the men have got no rights in this country at all? Sometimes men have to do things to get themselves heard because uh, I'm not a foreign nationalist myself I come from England but you know some people they come and marry an English girl and they've just got no rights do as you're told go in the corner go back to by where you courts, come from you by the courts we have no rights they say oh men's can do this and men can do that we've mm -hmm. got no rights the women say the kids are living with us you get custody once a week who wants to see their child for 15 minutes with someone else sitting so there? how do you feel about what Dee's doing I'd, I'd rather withhold my comment. Go on, why? Why? I think it's disgusting. How can you take a child and snatch them? You're from one. All right, they're but settled in. But he's saying that they've been snatched in the first place. But they're settled in. You're saying you take. You're going to people of going to grandparents and family units. What sort of mothers? would allow their child to have a passport and be separated. You get the odd occasion where they're oh, snatched. How could you blame the mothers for I'm, that? I'm, I'm not saying. I've said you mother, get the odd occasion yeah, where they're mothers snatched. Mothers go to school, take their children to school a, every a day, the, and uh, they, they go to pick their child up, and their child's not at school. A lot the of father's the, picked them up from school, and the father's taken them to the airport and put them on an aeroplane to a, an Arabic country where the children don't know anything about the country, any of their relatives there. I can't speak for everybody, but from, from my knowledge of people in this scenario, a lot of the women, I, I don't wish to offend anybody, but a lot of them are maybe working girls, them sort of girls that get mixed up in the Arab race and have their wits, we take them. I, I so you're saying that women, because women no. example have relationships, they're not good at being a mother and they no, deserve I'm, the children I'm to be taken from them. I'm not saying that at all. All I'm saying is oh well. that to get in this relationship, to get involved with rich Arab men, but it's that's a stereotype, isn't it? We, I only know of stereotypes. Uh, I don't know anybody OK, personally. maybe they're... Thank you very much. But that is the stereotype. Not all Arab men are rich. Not all women who go out with Arab men are I don't are think prostitute. it matters what age you are. If you're a mother, you're a mother. Or what you do for a living is irrelevant. If you're a mum, you do your best to be a good mum. It's, it's not something that you can plan. It's something that happens every day of your life. But, but I do, mean, do you, you think... Just uh, I'm not picking up that gentleman's point, but do you think that some young girls do get into, you know, different I think cultural yeah, I marriages think this is without a big thinking thing, things through? I think it's a big thing to think that you should think through very carefully. I mean, I think that you don't just go and get married. I mean, you do mm. get pregnant. People get pregnant every day of this. I mean, yeah. this is, you know, it happens. Reality, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you, you don't just... I, don't have to, I want to explain, but in a polite way. Just because a woman has a few boyfriends doesn't mean she's bad. Right. And it doesn't mean that these Arabic men, they come over here and they think that all women should be like their women back home. Right. Why do they marry them in the beginning? They know what they're like. Why don't they tell them before they marry them or before they have children, you know, this is a circumstance, we don't do this. That, it's their choice to do it. OK, and the other way around, I guess. Yeah. Yes, sir. Stand up for me. <clears throat> yeah. One thing I have to say is, you see, when a man marries a woman, some people change. Like, when a person gets into a violent relationship, they don't know that person's going to be violent until during the relationship. Mm. Let me say the man comes over here, marries the woman, and then the woman um, somehow says um, it's over, like she's found someone else. Maybe she was using him for a baby, and she had another man before couldn't have a baby. So now the man, she gets this the immigration on him. 
Yeah, she gets the immigration in him, I guess and they so, send him is. back. So you know what I would do if I was that man? I will come back and snatch my baby. You would do it? Yes, and go back to my country. <laughs> 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 do you have children? Mm? Do you have Me? Children? But I'm planning to. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thank you. children like a, uh, like a possession isn't it let's start talking about children what about uh, family and friends we've heard from Anne here concerns so you've got children yourself you're not worried that you get stuck over there as, as Anne said get no, caught I've got a British passport and I don't do anything illegal but I don't some do countries may not have a British embassy then what do you do no most countries have a British embassy except for one country mm. but that doesn't worry you and does it do you think she should be more concerned than she is or I suppose that once she's done it, more, more than once, she's... Um, Known? She, yeah, well, she... Yeah. She yes. becomes... Yeah, have you heard the say, uh, say that two wrongs don't make a right? Yes, I've heard Yeah, well, I'm saying the kids have already been stolen from his mum over there by the dad or whatever, yeah? Mm -hmm. And you're going back over there and stealing from the dad to bring back to the mum, aren't you? <laughs> the kid's going to be mixed up, you know, he's got a choice where he goes, is he? Well, you know, so you're no different to the, to the dad nicking him in the first place, are you? Um, yeah? No, I, I feel that a child, Thank you, personally, I feel that a child belongs where he's, he's used to the environment and he's used to where he's being safe and he feels secure and his routine and going to school yeah. and being with his family. OK, let I me mean, come if you've, to... I mean, if you've got a child, yeah. you've got oh, a daughter yeah. who's got a ch who marries, for example, a foreigner and all of a sudden this foreigner comes and takes your, your granddaughter or your grandson back to an Arabic country, what would you do? OK, let's take another question from a woman this time, because I've realised we've asked quite a lot of guys, yeah. Don't you think that you should just let the mothers go over there and sort out the problems themselves, instead yeah, of having to do it yourself? I sometimes go yeah. with the mother, but what it is, is most, most of the time the mothers the mothers are familiar with the families there, so they know them, so they know... They'd, they'd be spotted, They'd be saying. spotted, and a lot yes. of the women have their names at the airport as well. Oh, they're being looked for? Yeah. Yes, okay. yes. Assalamu alaikum, lady. Um, do you um, work on your own or do, are you organised? Do you, is, do you no, get I help don't, from... I don't, I don't do it as a job. I've done it for a few people that have contacted me. I, I, I must Thank repeat, you. it's not a job. I've done it to, to reunite children well, with their must, mothers, well, their You must work mothers. with someone. You must... No, I she's don't. Don't get us support or anything. No, not at all. What I do don't you think of to it? do it for money. I, don't, oh, I think it's just... It's a bit risky. I mean, it's, it is you're risky, risking I your know. life, really. It's just... Yes, I know Working on your own and... It's hard. I know that. Thank you. Thank I'm you. Taking a chance. Yes, no, right. you you went one time with your daughter. Um, was that a, was that scary? No, because um, it was it was different circumstances. It was very very different. Mm, mm, that was a different situation. Yes, sir. So what do you do? Like jump out of the car and just grab the kid? No, 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 no. I wouldn't do that to a child. Well, you're, you're seeing so. <laughs> no, um, I mean, it like, sounds like a movie. Almost. No, the, the way it's been put across is like, yeah, I'll go there, I'll bring the yeah. child back to reunite with his mother. But obviously, you can't go and approach the parents. You can't go and approach the grandparents. This kid's already been snatched. It's been living in um, a stable environment for, well, God knows how many months or whatever. And then along you come, you think, yeah, it's my cause to bring this child back to the UK to his mother. And obviously you can't approach the parents to get the passport, so how do you get the kid? Thank you. Well, um, the mother might have the passport, thanks. Um, I have the passport for the child anyway. I don't, I don't do it as a job, I've told you so. Before mm. I go, um, we look into it very carefully. I don't do it overnight. I do it, as, as a, I do it because I feel that a child belongs with his mother. How, how long does it take you to plan it then? About three to four months. Three to four months. Yeah. When you get over there, how long would you stay there? Five days. So in five days you have to find the child... When I usually know where the child is. I don't, I don't go out there hunting for a child or taking mm. him from school and things like that. Mm. It's di I can't tell you exactly how I do it, but I do bring the child back. That is what I want to do and that's what I enjoy doing. I enjoy reuniting children with their mothers. Well, what, what's the buzz, actually, that moment when they get together or something? I think, any, I think when you're a mum and you miss your child if they go on holiday or things like that, or if you're a grandparent and you miss your grandchild and you've been used to that grandchild for so many years mm -hmm. and all of a sudden he's gone or she's gone. What happens when the, if the child comes back here and misses dad then? Well, the dad shouldn't, shouldn't go back home. He's probably here anyway. Most of the people that I've done, they leave the children back there with the grandparents. Oh, and come back to England. And come back here. OK, yeah. What does your daughter and your family think about what you're doing? My children, my children, I don't involve my children in this conversation. They don't know anything about well, what they're doing. Well, they must know because they're you took your daughter young. with you, they didn't you? They don't know. They're too young. What she about your family? Well, your, your husband's here, yes? Yeah, my family, um, because that I do it, because I, I want to do it. 
Yeah. It's not. This is this is your husband's. Yeah. There now. It, it, what do you want to say? So you've heard a lot of different views on this. <clears throat> what do you, well, somebody said, how do you? Actually, feel? what she what she does is scary. But at the same time, it's wonderful. I mean, she's. Do you get scared? Do you worry that yeah, she might not of come course, back? Of course. And, and how do you feel about it? Because a lot of men have put their hands up and said they feel it's wrong. Mm. A gentleman back there says... Well, I don't think anybody is got the right to, still, to say, like, it's wrong or right. Mm. What she's doing, she's, she's bringing the smile to the mother and bringing a smile to the, the kids. Right. And at the same time, it's caring and it's terrifying. Yeah. OK. But, but you know, you... you, you, you I guess people are going to no, say, no, well, hang on, what would yeah. happen if, God forbid, um, you know, alhamdulillah, it doesn't <laughs> happen, but if you went back uh -huh. home and you, would you take the children and then how would you feel I if somebody... I would never, ever think about it. I would, would never, ever cross my mind. To because separate Because she's the a child. great mother. I mean, to separate a child from his mother is a crime because... And from the father? The father is, the father is there, he could see them, he could... But the mother... Is, there's got special love between the mother and the child, and you cannot do that. You don't think you should break that? No. Okay, so thank you very much. Yes? I think it's actually, in some respects, quite commendable what you do, but you tend to put just the love of that, that bonding love between the mother and the child. But, you know, abduction takes place.